Hi, I'm meteorologist Justin Esterly from the Storm Tracker 18 weather team. Thanks for clicking on the video. We've had a couple of days that have been relatively warmer compared to what we've seen so far with this Arctic air mass moving into the upper Midwest. As we go into the rest of this week, we are going to see a return to more of those dangerous temperatures and those dangerous wind chills. These dark purples depict the coldest air in these upper levels, and this is the levels that can mix down to the surface a little bit, so we like to look at them to see where temperatures could go. Ultimately, that dark purple is going to continue to kind of roll into the upper Midwest here through the weekend, bringing us high temperatures back near and below zero with wind chills down near or below 30 below zero. Ultimately, that pool is also going to be digging deep enough into the United States to give a lot of problems to the far south, places in Texas that do not typically see near zero degree temperatures are going to have a fight for some of that, or even the wind chills possibly getting that low. This could cause damage in places that far south. But the relief on the other side of that does come in after we start getting into next week. You see how all of those very dark blues and purples are gone? Now we're just dealing with a little more typical winter type cold from the Arctic and eventually we will wash the rest of this out going through later next week. Let's talk about our chances for snow in between that. Now we do have some of that here coming on today. Futurecast suggests it early. I'm likely getting, going to get us cleared out here by about 10 a.m. on Wednesday. So we're not expecting to see much of that snow make it to the ground. Sunshine across the board as we go through today tomorrow. The next chance for the snow to come through. We have a new wave that starts to push cloud cover in early. That snow starts after about one o'clock. Heaviest, and I say heaviest as meaning the most persistent through at least about seven or eight. And then we see a little bit of a break. Another wave starts to come through to our south. We could get some flurries from that early Friday morning. All of that though, likely adding up to maybe about a half of an inch or so. Light fluffy snow, some areas in eastern Wisconsin and southern Wisconsin could get upwards of an inch. Again, it's just going to barely be enough to grease up the roadways. It's going to be very light. Ultimately today we're going towards eight, a mix of sunshine and cloud cover. Those wind chills not breaking out of the negatives before we calm down and clear out again tonight. 14 below, a steady wind at times will give us wind chills down 20 to 30 below, probably another wind chill advisory overnight. As we go through the rest of the week, again, temperatures single digits or near zero below that through the weekend. Next week, after President's Day on Monday, finally starting to see some freedom from the cold.